Okay, creating um, rounded bottles is a little bit different. We're going to start off again with a, a new part file. And this time, what we're going to do is we're going to create a new sketch, but we're going to do it as a, um, a side kind of profile. So there's our origin point here. I'm going to put a few lines and things on here. So I'm going to go straight up and I'm going to make this one about uh, 100 mil. And zoom that back down a little bit so we can see. And you can see the guides on here will lock. You see the symbol that comes up there when it's at 90 degrees to tell me that that thing's straight. So I do want to go to 90 degrees and I'm going to make the size of it about 15. Press enter to finish that one off. And I'm going to do something now. I can right click and I can say restart. So I'm still in the same line tool but I'm starting the line off fresh again. I'm going to go along again. Same thing, I'm at 90 degrees. This time I'm going to choose maybe 20. And I'm going to say enter. So that's fixed. And you can see it's putting the dimension lines on there for me. Um, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to sw switch tools. I'm going to end that line. And I'm going to go for an arc tool. And I'm going to go for um, from here to about here. And make an internal arc. And then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to create another arc, but I'm going to go on the outside from here to here and make a kind of outside shape. What I can do now is I can dimension those things. So by dimensioning them, it allows me to be able to change these settings afterwards. So I'm going to go for about maybe 40 on this one. Change that to 40. And I'm going to dimension this one over here. And I'm going to make this one maybe about 80, I think. So choose 80 for that one. Now what I can do is later on, if I want to, I can come back to this edit sketch and I can change any of these dimensions and that will change what my bottle looks like. For now, I'm going to be, I'm happy with that. I've got all, all of those sizes have been um, dimensioned. I'm going to hit finish sketch. It takes me back to my kind of 3D type view. Um, and what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to use a different tool. This time I'm going to use something called Revolve. And it does exactly what it sounds like. It basically fills in all the way around from an edge. So it's asking me for an edge. There's the edge I want. It's gone red. I'm going to click on it. And it puts that all the way around. Now if I wanted to, this is quite bizarre. If I grab this little arrow here, I can actually have quadrants of, of a hole. I don't have to go all the way around. Um, I am going to go all the way around. So I'm going to choose to actually have it all join up. And when that's on 360 degrees there, I'm going to hit the tick, and there's my, my shape. So that's the beginning part of what I want for my um, my shape. But what I need to do is I need to add a little um, bit on the top for the screw thread, and I need to tidy it up a bit. So this is what I'm going to do next. I'm going to choose this top surface here, and I'm going to put a drawing on there. And what I'm going to go for my circle tool, and I'm going to go from the center again outwards, and I'm going to make it 12 mil again like I did last time. Hit enter finish my sketch so now over here I'll have a new sketch coming up this is the sketch now for um, that top little shape I'm going to zoom in slightly so I can see that area a bit clearer and I'm going to use my extrude tool again make sure I choose this inner circle and I'm going to extrude to a height of 10 mil that's fine click OK and there I am starting the shape that I want I think at this stage I'll probably um, turn this into a um, into a shell. I'm going to choose my shell tool, click on this top surface here and I've got a 1mm shell defaulting. I'll, I'll go with that for now and say yes. So that's now made the whole of this shape um, hollow. Same as before I've got the opportunity if I want to put some fillets and chamfers and things on so I'm going to add a little fillet on here to make this edge here look a bit more um, a bit nicer. I'm going to make that maybe a 1. Say OK on here. And on the edges around the outside, I'm going to fill it those as well. But I'm going to make them a bit bigger, so maybe I'll make that a maybe about four mil. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah. And if I shift and move down, I'm going to put the same thing on some of these other edges. Do this edge. Move down here and the bottom. This edge here and say yes to all of those. So that's the kind of shape of my bottle at the moment. Okay, same as I've done before, I'm going to actually um, set this now as my home view. So I've got my left and front views. I'm pretty much looking at this in isometric. I'm going to click here, set the current view as um, fit to view. So this is going to be my home view. 
and if I go to the front there and just make sure that this is the front view I can always set this as the front if I'm not sure but I should be able to click through and go back to those different areas okay I'm going to try and emboss some text on here now so I'm going to choose the um, the XY plane over here and that looks like it's cutting that bottle in half which is good and I'm going to add a work plane onto that um, area by clicking up here on work plane grabbing the corner and I'm going to drag it in this direction and I'm going to take it to about 50 something like that should be okay um, it doesn't have to be particularly accurate at this point I click the tick there and what I want to do is now I'll put a, a picture or, or text or something onto this plane it doesn't have to be just text you could draw something on there but we're going to go for text for now so I'm going to click on the edge of here and I'm going to choose new sketch that's going to line it all up for me so now I can add some text to this sketch I'm going to click on my text tool click somewhere on my bottle shape roughly where I want to put something um, not quite sure what size will work best I'll try try maybe six mil see what that looks like on there and we've got some different choices of of text maybe I'll make that a bold one say okay okay that actually is not too bad I could move that around if I want to but it looks pretty good it looks pretty square to me um, I'm just gonna click finish sketch so you can see what's happening at the moment is it's kind of floating away from that bottle so to emboss it what I need to do is choose my emboss tool boss tools basically saying same as last time does it want to be embossed so it sticks out or, or does it want to be cut in and engraved doesn't really matter I'll leave it as uh, sticking out for now and it's saying choose a particular um, thing I'm going to choose that one and again the depth however far it goes out or sticks in it's up to you I'm going to leave it on one mil for now and I'm going to click um, uh, sorry the direction I want it to go is towards the face and I'm going to click OK and that should attach that on and now what I don't need anymore is I don't need to have this work plane visible so I can click on there and take the visibility off if I rotate this round a little bit by holding down shift and using my mouse scroll button hard to see in the particular light you've got to get it quite the angle right there you can see that that's embossed on there okay I'm going to go back to my um, normal view now and I'm gonna do finish off with a screw thread so again I'm gonna zoom in so I can see what I'm doing a bit better uh, I'm gonna maybe put a little chamfer on the edge to make it a bit nicer so um, sorry I'm gonna put a yeah I'm gonna put chamfer on the edge I'm gonna choose maybe one mil even that might be too big we'll have a look what that looks like that's too big so we'll try 0.5 and we'll try applying that that's a bit nicer so I can get out of this one now it's done and I want to just add my screw thread so I'm going to go for my screw thread I'm going to click on here now again same as last time I'm going to use size 12 yep all those settings are correct so I'm going to hit OK and that's my screw thread put on so now I've got a rounded bottle that's all embossed the only thing I need to do on there the same as the last time round would be if I wanted to change the material it was made from and the color so again just to remind you click on part two go to sorry the part name click on properties go to physical in the physical there we've got a drop down and we've got all these different choices of materials that we can use we we'll try something different this time we'll look at see what it looks like in uh, aluminium or bronze or something maybe brass see what brass looks like and we'll apply that there's you can see all brass gets all these nice reflections coming off it that would uh, show you that that's a very shiny surface I'm going to apply that click off it and again I can move this around to have a little look at it and see what I think hold down shift and I can spin it around and you can see all those reflections coming off there really interesting how they've chosen or what the company's chosen it's like I can see cars and things in the reflection of that's very interesting okay and that's my rounded bottle so I could save that now give it a name I'm gonna call this um, round bottle I've already got some other ones I've done so I'll make sure I call this number five and I'm good to go